On September 9th, 2018, I sent Lucky, the hardest outdoor climb established in Seoul at that time, and the hardest climb I'd ever done. But two years later in the winter of 2020, it was about time for me to serve the mandatory military civic duty, as all male Korean citizens must for 18 months, which in other words meant no freedom and no climbing during the service. I served as an auxiliary police, and during those 18 months, I was basically stuck at the military base. You're not allowed to go home, and not even the convenience store just across the street from the base. But as a man's gotta eat, a climber's gotta train. So I tried my best to keep myself in shape, utilizing everything I could hang on. A door frame, bunk bed, goal post, pull-up bar, portable hangboard, another door frame and even a subordinate and in 2022 on february 18th after one and a half years of suffering i finally became a free man again but of course Despite all the efforts, I was completely out of shape. Which, to me, only meant more training. I even had to try to repeat some of the oldest windward benchmarks that I had already climbed years ago. I was climbing five days a week again, training as much as I could. From moonboard to spray walls and even the comp style boulders, I trained everything. And physically, I slowly started to feel I was about as strong as I had been before the military. Eight months had passed, and a friend of mine was projecting Lucky, which kind of made me curious if I could actually repeat my hardest climb. But first things first, there was this V10 boulder I haven't yet climbed right next to Lucky, so I decided to take it off first.
쓰면 안 돼. 아, 씨. 쓴다 말이야. 아, 안 걸리는데? 흘러. 여기, 여기. 진짜. 거기라고? 어. 아, 여기 오래 또. 이거 빼기 시킬게 바로. 아, 나 왼쪽에 나와! 아니, 거기까지 다리가 안 가. 여기? 이거 많이 하면 발 때가 아프다. 아니, 아까처럼 메타나 또. 어, 됐다, 됐다. 그거야. 왜? 아, 나 알았어. 哦，走走。啊，怎么？啊，紧张了。啊，走。快点。哎呀，我操！我操，太多人了。哎，我操！哎，我操！哎，我操！哎，我操！哎，我操！哎，我操！哎，我操！哎，我操！哎，我操！
불러세네 예스 왼손 뭔데? 아 